attract you this way, and they should be equal. Uh, another way to show this is this. They sh uh, another way to kind of argue this. Let's say you're standing right here. Take, a, take an element here. I I'm doing a two-dimensional two cross-section, but this is actually a sphere. So take an element here and then draw a little cone going through you. Okay, so let's say this is you right here. And you can argue that this side will attract you with the same force as this side. And you can make a little cone like that. This side will attract you with the same force as this side. And then this side will attract you with the same force as that side. So you can uh, make a cone anywhere, no matter where you are. This part will attract you with the same force as that side because this part is closer to you, even though there's a less of it. But that side, there's more of it, but it's farther away. Now, the actual mathematical proof will take a little bit harder to show this, but it does come out to be zero. The first person who argued this was Newton. Same guy that we always credit for everything. Newton argued that the, plant, the gravity inside a spherically hollow planet or ring is zero. He argued that. Now, coming back to electricity, the same thing can be said. The electric field should be zero. By the way, this is a great news for anybody who is inside of a car when it gets hit by a lightning. Okay? When the car gets hit by a lightning and you're inside of a conducting car, the charge spreads out to the outside. No matter where you are in the inside, part of the car attracts you that way, part of the car attracts you the other way. Same argument can be made. No matter what the shape of the object, if you're inside of a conducting object, the electrical field is zero. Okay? Now, the other way we can argue this is when we go to chapter 25, we'll see that the electric potential is constant inside of a, a conductor. conductor. The electric potential is constant. So all points of your body will be at the same potential, which means there will be no current going through you. So you're safe inside of a, a car uh, that is, uh, gets hit by a lightning. As a matter of fact, if you go to YouTube, there is a video there that this guy shows you. Uh, he's inside of a car, and they get, they get hit by lightning. It's a British video, and they show you that the guy stays safe. OK? OK, so based on the ring argument and based on the gravitational argument, the electric field anywhere inside of a conducting sphere should be 0. So now let's use Gauss's law argument to show that the electric field is 0. Using Gauss's law argument, we'll do like this. And we'll uh, draw a Gaussian surface, right? We'll draw a Gaussian surface there. And we'll say that the electrical flux is Q enclosed over E0. And the same argument again, the electric field. Oh, but the thing is this. Here's what you're going to get to. Since there is no charge enclosed here anywhere inside of a solid conducting sphere, all the charges are on the outside, right? So the electric flux is 0. The enclosed charge is 0. OK? Now, there's only two ways where the electric flux can be 0, only two two reasons. Either the dA is like that and the electric field is perpendicular to the dA, which would mean the electric field is like this. So if you had a Gaussian surface and the electric field was tangential to the surface, that would create a flux that is 0. But you could argue, why would the sphere create an electric field that is tangential to it. That doesn't make sense. A sphere should create an electric field that's radially out from it. So you could argue that the electric field cannot be tangential to the surface. So the only other reason that the integral is, is 0 is if the electric field is, is itself 0. Okay. So that means that uh, this concludes that the E is 0 inside of a 
sphere, which is the same answer that we get for using the ring argument, right? So there you go. Gauss's law gave us the same answer, but much quicker. Since the enclosed charge is zero, the electric field is zero, and that's it. It's, it's a two-second argument, okay? As long as the enclosed charge is zero, the electric field is zero. Okay, now let's go.